name is Ellie. I teach sewing and crafts at the library and today I'm going to show you how to make bias tape at home. So bias tape is something that you can buy at craft stores but I've only ever seen it in solid colors. So if you want to use pattern fabric or if you want to just make use of the fabric that you already have before going out and buying new stuff, this is a really um, quick and easy tutorial for how to make bias tape on your own. So let's get started. For this project, you will need some cotton fabric, fabric scissors, a rotary cutter, quilting ruler, and cutting mat. You will also need some fabric pins, a sewing machine, and an iron. So before we get started, I just wanted to talk a little bit about what bias tape is. So most woven fabrics are woven together like this. So you've got horizontal and vertical lines intersecting. And so normally, when we cut fabric, we want to go along with these lines, like that. But um, cutting on a bias means that you're cutting diagonally through this woven pattern. And so bias tape cuts just like that. And what this does is it gives um, fa the fabric a little bit more stretch than it normally would. So this is some bias tape that I made earlier this week, and this is cut from the same fabric. So really, woven fabric doesn't have a whole lot of stretch. I'm pulling on it, it's not really moving. This bias tape does stretch. So it's not going to be the same as like a knit fabric, but this does stretch enough so that I can get around curves and pull around corners. So you use bias tape to finish edges. Um, most of the time you think of like quilt bindings, um, but you can use it on the edge of bags, pot holders, um, anything where you want to have kind of a casing around the edge. So bias tape is normally a strip of fabric that's cut on the bias and then it's folded in half once and then folded again just like that so now that we kind of know um, what bias tape is let's get started making it so you're gonna start by cutting your fabric into a square like this and then you're going to fold it so that one corner meets up with the other. Okay, and then we're gonna fold it corner to corner one more time. Okay, and then you're going to find the edge that's folded like this. See this one opens, this side has no folds on it, so this edge is completely folded. And then you're going to meet the corners on either side of that edge up. Okay, so now we have a shape that's kind of like a, a square with a triangle attached. So now we want to line this up on our cutting mat. So I've got this bottom edge right up on one of these um, lines, so I know that it's straight. And I'm going to take my quilting ruler And I'm going to line it up on the edge. And then I'm just going to cut this part off. So you only need to take off just a little bit. So now 
now um, we're going to cut this fabric into strips. The width of your strips depends on the size of your final bias tape. So this stuff that I made, the ending size is an inch wide, but I cut the fabric um, in four inch wide strips. So you're going to cut your strips four times as wide as you want the final size to be once it's all folded up. So I've already made an inch um, bias tape. Now I'm going to try to do um, a half an inch. So I'm going to cut this into two inch wide strips. So this is where um, a cutting mat comes really in handy. I can just line this edge up with one of these lines and then put my quilting ruler two inches away from that. Okay, so now you can see we've cut, this is supposed to be two strips, and it's got some stretch to it. Okay, so we're going to continue um, cutting these two inch wide strips until we run out of fabric. So I just finished cutting all my strips. Um, the first couple ones are going to be longer and then they'll gradually get shorter until by the end you're left with these triangles. Um, I'm not going to bother using these for the bias tape. I'll set them aside for something else. So now we need to sew all of these strips together. So I've got one lined up on my cutting mat so that where this diagonal line ends, um, it's kind of where these corners intersect and that's going to help me, um, line this fabric up correctly. So the one already on my cutting mat is um, right sides up and then I'm going to take another strip right side down Okay, and I want to make sure that um, it gets lined up like this So that the straight part of this strip um, lines up right here where this diagonal line ends and this diagonal line meets up right there. So you can use the straight lines on your cutting mat to help you with that. And then I'm going to take my quilting ruler and we're going to place it so that We've created a diagonal line between these two places where this fabric intersects. And I'm just gonna draw a line. Like that. Bring it closer so you can see. And I'm just going to put a couple fabric pins in here just to keep it together for now. And then I'm going to go to my sewing machine and sew this together following this line that we made. Okay, I just sewed this seam together. So now I'm going to take my ruler again and I'm going to cut off this extra fabric so that we have about a quarter of an inch left. Okay. 
So now we've got a continuous piece. So I'm gonna repeat those steps until I have uh, my bias tape at the length that I want. I finished sewing together all the strips, so now I'm at my ironing board, and I'm going to press all the seams open, like that. And then you wanna trim off these little bits of fabric that are poking up from the edge. Okay, so then just continue that for all the seams on your bias tape. Next, we need to create the folds in our bias tape. So I'm starting at one end and I'm going to fold it in half and then just give it a press. And then I'm gonna continue that for the whole strip. Once you fold it in all in half, open it back up and fold the bottom edge up to that middle line. Press that down. And then you'll repeat for the top edge. Okay, so all folded together. It should look something like this. So I'm going to get to ironing and continue this for the entire length of my bias tape. So here's the bias tape that I've made. Um, this started as a 22 inch square of fabric and I now have 14 feet of half inch bias tape and I even left out a couple of the smaller pieces. So it doesn't take a lot of fabric to make um, a good amount of bias tape. Um, so next week I'll be using this bias tape in my project, we are going to make um, another quilted pot holder. This time it's a little more of a seasonal autumnal one. So if you want, go ahead and make your bias tape so you're ready. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next week. Bye!